short over the middle, deflected and incomplete. Ridley had to go off his hands. Gus Ridley is slowly walking toward the sideline right now. Remember, he had run into the yeah. goalpost earlier in the quarter. Well, that time Justin Reed ran into him and gave him a little chicken wing right to the solar plexus. Looked like it stunned him a little bit. So 4.47 to go in the game. Third and 10 for the Jaguars at the Chief 14-yard line. Jaguars down by 8, eight points. 17-9, Chiefs lead it. Big speed to the left of Lawrence is out of the gun again. Three receivers spread to the left. Ingram is to the right in a swap. Snap back. Lawrence back to throw. Set up. Hit by Jones. Try to throw it backwards to Bigsby. It's going to roll out of bounds on the far sideline. If that is a backward pass and a lateral, they'll lose a couple of yards on the play. And it looks like Let's, they will rule it that way. Well, it's fourth down. And Doug Peterson's keeping his offense on the field. I would just kick the field goal here. Now, they do rule that it is reset the game clock to 443. And that, because of that, the clock had kept moving. So they do stop the clock. 443 to go. They're going to go for it. Now, this is a... I might take the field goal here and put my defense back out there on the field down five if you could make it. And now a challenge is thrown by Andy Reid. Well, he challenged the last play. I think he thinks that should have been... A fumble. A lateral. Behind the line of scrimmage. And, and they would lose a couple of yards. Yep. Now Make the this. Ball, the... <laughs> the city is challenging the ruin of the field. Of it. All right. Well, the uh, little wave interference here for us. And I think that he's got to. Adrian Hill's got to move to the middle of the field to make the announcement. He's too far. You got a bad cell service? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me now? No, no he's going <laughs> to. He's not. He's running over to the near side to go take a peek. He'll get the headset and look at the, the, the monitor. Now, the, it wouldn't have anything to do. The ball went out of bounds. So I believe the clock would have stopped. Yes, if it's an incomplete pass. So really, this is just for a couple of yards. A couple of yards. And if you're wrong, you're going to lose the timeout. Well, the, the, the reason why I think Andy's challenging for a couple of yards is it looks like the Jags are going for it. So instead of fourth and eight, yeah. make it the longest fourth down possible sure. you can you can do. Getting word that Travis Etienne is cramping, and that is why he's yeah. on the sideline. We can, I'm keeping my eye on him. He's on the bench. I don't know if he's getting some fluids, some IVs right now, whatever, but he's sitting down. He's not moving around. But I mean, I, obviously, the Jaguars have not scored a touchdown today. They haven't been good. In the red zone, and watch the replay of Chris Jones take down Travis uh, Trevor Lawrence, and I think they might think that his knee was down when he threw the ball, and it should have been a sack. We're looking at it. Chris Jones comes up from behind. He's got one sack already today, Chris. Not the ball. And, and Lawrence's arm is definitely coming forward. It's definitely not a fumble from that regard but yeah it's very close as he's falling that left shin and knee very close to hitting the the grass before he got rid of it and that i'm trying to see where where that was and that would probably they would lose about four yards on the play well if you look at the situation the big picture here chiefs up 17 to 9 it's it, it's going to be somewhere around 4th and 10. Hold that thought for a second yep. here. As we pause 10 seconds for Station ID, you're listening to the NFL on Compass Media Networks. You're home for NFL Sunday, all season long, and Hayes, the great band, is KXNC, Met City, 104.7, KISS FM. Alongside Brian Baldinger, I'm Chris Carino. We're in Jacksonville, 443 to go in the fourth quarter. The Chiefs a 17-9 lead over the Jaguars. And right now there is a review of that last play to determine whether it was a sack, a fumble, or an incomplete pass. It was ruled an incomplete pass, but Andy Reid threw the challenge flag. Right now the ball on the 14-yard line pending the review. Regardless, it's going to be fourth down for the Jags. And what I was saying was, if you go ahead and put McManus out there and kick the field goal, it's a five-point game. There's 4.43 to go. The Jaguars have all three timeouts. 
I might very much just allow my defense to go out there, you know, and do yeah. its job. You're giving yourself a chance. Yeah. Here, you're 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 rolling the dice on a fourth down and it could be 12 or 14. Here's Adrian Hill. After review, it was determined that it was a backward pass that went out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The ball will be returned to that spot. It will be fourth down. Kansas City will not be charged at the timeout. Since Kansas City has had two successful challenges, they will be entitled to a third challenge. Please reset the game clock to 4.41. Please reset the play clock to 40 seconds. Both clocks will start on the on my ready for play signal. All right, good communication yep. by Adrian Hill. All right, fourth down at the 16. They can get a first down at the four-yard line. So keep that in mind here on this fourth down play. Chris Jones is going up against the rookie Anton Harrison on this play. Tank Bigsby to the right of Lawrence, who's out of the gun. Three receivers out to the left. Now one, Kirk goes in motion to the slot on the right. Ingram wide out of the right. Snap back to Lawrence on fourth and 12. Lawrence throws back left corner of the end zone, and it's caught out of bounds by Kirk out of the back of the end zone. Direction was Ridley, but he was out of the back of the end zone. Incomplete, and the Jaguars turn it over on downs. Well, that's the third time today the ball has been caught by a Jaguar receiver for, but out of the back of the end zone. Give credit, Legereus Sneed. Neither foot was in bounds. Great play by Sneed of getting them, pushing them out. All right, this Kansas City secondary has been outstanding all day. Like they, they're the MVP of this game, and it's it's all of them. It's Reed. It's Snee, it's McDuffie, the whole group, Jalen Watson. And Adrian Hill now looking at the video monitor again. Uh, so yeah, just to take a quick look to make sure he, that uh, Ridley was not in bounds, but it's closer than I thought it was. He actually does get the right foot down right on the edge it's not in bounds he got the left foot toe in bounds but the right foot was just out of bounds so that was uh close After review is determined that it is in the complete the receiver bobbled the ball and did not regain control until he was over the end line first down in 10 kansas city it was never in bounds please reset the game clock so, so now 416 to go so three timeouts left for both teams. So Kansas City, and every team does this, but every team practices a four-minute drill. You get the ball with 4.16 to go. You want to finish the game with the ball. Yep. You want to just possess it for the next 4.16 and, you know, run the ball, eat the clock, and walk out of here one and one. Three tight ends stacked to the line. They turn and give to Pacheco. Following a blocker left, and he's upended after a gain of a yard out to the 16-yard line. Uh, maybe it's going to mark him down to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play for Pacheco. Well, Kansas City will take as much time off the clock as they'll be allowed to. Under four minutes now. 20 on the play clock as they break the huddle. Pacheco the back. Mahomes under center. They'll let that play clock run down under 10. Takes the snap, turns, play action, Mahomes to throw. It's moving up in the pocket, scrambling, running, avoiding tacklers, and diving ahead down at the 30. A gain of 14 and a first down for Patrick Mahomes. You, you can check this, Chris, by he's had four scrambles today. And I think he's got four first downs every time he's run the ball. Four runs for 36 yards. He's not a fast guy, but he is effective. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't go down. Like he, he's not one of these guys that is automatically going to slide to protect himself. That time he went forward. He wanted to get the first down. He wanted to continue to chew the clock. Now it's going to be under three minutes to go when they snap this ball. First and ten on their own 30. Chiefs with a seventh.